ordinary people, children, women, and men, pay the highest price in the appalling loss of life and human suffering. A record number of people have fled their homes to escape violence, conflict, and persecution. Poverty and inequality are rife. And the impacts of the climate crisis are mounting, with floods, fires, and droughts taking lives and destroying livelihoods around the world, including here in Nepal, as I could witness in my two visits today and yesterday. In these troubled times, my message to the world from the tranquil gardens of Lumbini is simple. Humanity has a choice. The path to peace is ours to take. It is not always an easy one. Challenges may look insurmountable. Problems may feel overwhelming. But guided by Lord Buddha's timeless example, I believe it is a vision we can make real through action. Action to protect the rights and dignity of all. Action to heal, bridge divides, and build trust and understanding. Action to make the Sustainable Development Goals a reality, especially for the benefit of the most vulnerable. And action to end the assault on our planet by rapidly reducing emissions of greenhouse gases and restoring biodiversity.